Hello, hello YouTube. My name is Braden Gerard, and today we're gonna to build a no build full stack application. We're gonna use Hano.js on the back end to serve up our front end templates, which will be HTMX with some Alpine JS in there. And we're gonna host it all on Dino. By hosting it on Dino Cloud, we won't have to compile our TypeScript. We'll be able to get rid of our node modules. We can just import things directly from URLs. So we don't have to have a package JSON or any of the config files that come with a typical meta framework these days, all the configs and files that we're very sick of. This will be a very clean, no build, full stack application in modern technology. So let's get into it and take a look. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do here is we'll go to the Hano.js docs and we'll take a look at getting started with Dino. So we need to first install Dino. So if you haven't done that, you can go to dino.com uh, and they have a great tutorial here if you're Mac OS, Windows, or Linux. You can run this curl command on Mac OS to install Dino. Um, while you're at it, you might as well install deploy CTL because we'll be using that to deploy our project uh, to Dino Cloud. So if we go back over here, we can see that in order to get started with Dino, we can just do Dino run dash A and then NPM create Hano. So let's go over here and paste that into our terminal and we'll just call this the no build full stack. And we're gonna go on Dino Okay, then we'll change into that directory and we will open that up in Visual Studio Code. Let me make that a little bigger for you guys. All right, there we go. Um, okay, so all that does is it sets up a .vs code folder which tells our editor to have Dino enabled. If you don't have the Dino plugin installed, make sure that you install the Dino plugin, this Dino language server and with this setting it will enable it so that it's running then it has this hello.ts file which is importing the hano library from the dino.land repository we see that there's an error here we can quickly fix that by saying cache and that'll pull it down and cache it and we have our new hano application here so we're setting that up just like you set up any hano app it's the same setup with new hano then we have our first route handler here. So on the root route, we return hello Hano, and then we do dino.serve to serve our application and we grab fetch out of the app and serve it up. Okay, so if we look in the readme here, we can see we can run Dino with dino run allow net and then the hello.ts file. So let's try testing out our application just to make sure that we can run it. Allow-net and hello.ts. There we go, our app is listening on localhost 8000. And if we open it up in the browser here, we can see that we have the hello Hano. Perfect, so if we go back over to our code, let's start working on this now. So we'll go in here and I like to rename my base file to index.ts, but you can call it whatever you want. And then I'm gonna make a new folder here. We're gonna call that the views folder. So that's where we're gonna put our templates. And we'll make another folder here called the routes folder. And that's where we'll put our routes for our Hano application. And then we'll make one more folder called lib. And that will just handle any types that we might want to make or a database method. Or if we want to make any schemas or anything like that, if we were going to use Zod or something else like that. We're not going to get into that in this video, but that's where you would organize those files. So in our view, routes folder, let's make a new file and we'll call that index.ts. I like to sort of have an index.ts at each level. So this would be sort of my root level. And then if I made a new folder here and let's say this is the app folder, for example, and then inside of the app folder, we could make a new file, which is the index.ts in there. And then maybe we have a, I don't know, let's say a, a profile page inside of our app, right? So we make a profile.ts and then at our, this level here, this would be sort of like our homepage to our application. And then once you maybe get in or log into the application, you'd go into the app here. So maybe we can make another folder here called auth. And then in the auth folder, we could have an index.ts and then we would have a login maybe.ts and it's good enough for example purposes here. So in this index.ts, what we wanna do is we wanna import Hano from Dino land, perfect. And then we want to 
make a new Hano app. And then we will say app.perfect. That's what we want. Thank you, Copilot. So this is our root route. And this is going to be hello homepage for now. Or maybe this is our landing page for our app. Hello landing page. Okay, so then this is going to be a get to that. Perfect. And then what we want to do is we want to export default app here. Now, another thing that we're going to have here is we're going to have our app dot route and app dot route. We can have forward slash app. So this can be anything that's under the app folder and that's going to take the app TS file. So we'll import this here. We'll say app comes from, that's actually going to be dot forward slash app forward slash index.ts, right? And then if we go in there, we're going to do a similar thing here. So we'll copy this file, put that in our app index.ts. And then in here we can pull in profile from this profile.ts. And again, app.route here forward slash profile. And then we're going to put the profile in here. So this would handle all of our routes for our app portion. So we're sort of making a file-based router here in, a, in sort of our own way. It keeps your files nice and organized and your, and your route file is not too large. So this, we don't need app anymore. It's just dot forward slash profile. And then in our profile, again, we'll copy this over there. And in profile, we're not importing anything. And in profile, we don't need a route. We're not, we're not adding routes. We're just setting the route for this forward slash profile forward slash. So that will just be the profile page and it'll be a get. Now, if I wanted to make sort of like a, a post endpoint here, for example, I could say app dot post forward slash, because we're already at the profile, remember from being imported here. And then I could do something with that post request. So I could have the context here. And you can look up how the HANO context works in the HANO docs. We're not going to get into a full HANO lesson here, but uh, just sort of how to structure the project. And then we could say, yeah, uh, sure, we'll return text. Thanks for the post. Okay, so you'd handle your post here, you'd save it out to the database or whatever. So that's how you could add multiple routes at that profile endpoint. But we just want to have the get route for now. So this is hello, sorry, this would be hello profile page, right? And then in here, we would have hello app page. Oh, because I'm exporting default here, we actually need to get rid of these brackets here. So that should be like that. And same for this one, this should be like this. And then this could just stay app. And then we export app. There we go. Okay, so that's our dashboard. We're at the root of our app. And then we have the profile route, which would be at forward slash profile, which gets defined here and calls the profile route. Okay, so we've got our app sort of laid out here. Did we do login yet? We haven't done the login yet. So let's just do that really quickly. So, okay, so this would be forward slash hello auth page. And then we'd have forward slash login here, which would import login from this login TS file. And that would go there. And then on the login page, oops, put this on the login page. We're not importing anything here. We don't need the route here. And we're just gonna say, hello, login page. And that should be good. There we go. So we have all that set up. We have our auth section. We have our app section. And then we have our landing page here. Now in our landing page, we need to add two more routes. So we want to add uh, app dot route, which will be our auth route, which we'll import in a moment. And same for app. 
So now let's import auth and import app. Perfect. All uh, right, let's call it app. There we go. Okay, so we have our app route, our auth route, and then just our root route here. Now let's actually get into creating some views for these routes. So if we go over to our views folder here, we can make a new file and let's call this a layout ts and then we'll make another new file in here or maybe a folder i guess and we'll make this pages and then inside of there we'll make a file called i guess landing so that would be that landing page we can also make a new file in here called app so that would be that default app page and we can make another file in here called profile and another file in here called login So we have all those pages created. Now let's also make a folder here called components. And if we have any sort of reusable component that we want, we can put those in there. So for now, let's make a, a proper styled title for each page instead of just returning that plain text. So let's make a title component and we'll add the stuff in there for the title component. So before we start creating all the views though, let's just do a quick test here to make sure that our routing is set up how we expect. So if we go over to our server again, and we go to forward slash, well, there's hello Hano. So that's what we have for our uh, homepage here. We'll say hello landing Hano, just so we're not confused. Oh, I don't have my hot reloading on. Okay, so, uh, okay, so we can do the unstable we like to live on the edge. All right, Dino, run. Unstable, allow, net, and index.ts. All right, let's see, can we now, I've added some exclamation marks here, remove some exclamation marks, perfect, okay. Now things are working, so let's now go to forward slash app. There's our app page. If we go to forward slash app forward slash profile, we get the profile page. If we go to forward slash, uh, whoops, we get hello auth page. And if we go to forward slash auth forward slash login, we get the hello login page. Perfect. So all of our routes are set up and working as expected. So now let's go and work on those views. So if we go over to our code, we can take a look at that layout view. So what we want to do here is we actually want to just export a function. So we're going to create a new function, but first we're going to import the HTML module from Dino, or sorry, from Hano. So if we go over to Hano, Hano has this HTML helper here, the helpers HTML that we can import. So let's import that. We'll grab our Hano URL here and we'll go over to our layout from and we want to do html.ts and then we will fix this up. Let's cache it. There we go. Thank you, Copilot. Okay, so what we're doing here is we're gonna export a default function called layout. So we have the title and the content here for the page. So this is gonna be the title of the page and then the actual content that's gonna go inside of the page. So this would be the child content of the page. We'll take this title out of here since we don't really need that in there. And then we will see what's going on here. It implicitly has an any type. Yeah, so we don't want that. Put it there, we've got to put it here. Declare that we're gonna have a title of type string and then the content of type. Now the content's not gonna be type string because we're actually gonna pass in one of these HTML helpers from Dino or from Hano. So the HTML, hold on, this URL import, we need to import it from helper.ts cached or unmissing dependency. Okay, let's cache that please. Okay, do you know what HTML is now? Thank you. Okay, so we have 
HTML here, which we're returning from this uh, layout, but we're also gonna be returning that from the pages and the pages are gonna put in, get put in here where the content is. So what we wanna do is we want to set this type not to be string, but to be the type of this HTML that's being returned. So in this case, it's either HTML escape string or a promise of HTML escape string. So we're gonna make that the content type here and we need to import those uh, from the HANO utils folder. There we go, thank you, auto completion. Finally working correctly. <laughs> okay, so we have our layout here. Now the only other thing we need to add is we need to add in any of our front end libraries that we wanna use, more libraries that we're gonna use really on server side rendering, but they need to be read from the front end. So that's gonna be HTMX and that's also going to be Alpine.js. So we will drop those script tags in. So the script tag for HTMX is here and the script tag for alpine.js for the htmx1 you can find that here under the docs and installing here is the cdn script for alpine.js we can just grab it right here off their home page nice and easy and put that in there as well and we'll add in a, a very simple css <laughs> simple css class here just to give us a little bit of default styling so let's go to get started with simple CSS and we'll grab the minified link here. So let's go back over to our code and plop that in. There we go. We've got some base styling for us and we've got some front end scripting if needed and our HTMX here for server side. Okay. That's good enough for our layout. So now let's work on our components or sorry, our pages. First we'll work on actually, yeah, the landing page. Let's go to the landing page. We're gonna do something very similar here, right? So we're gonna import HTML again from Dino you know, Helpers, uh, whoops. And then we're going to export another function. Again, this one's called landing. This is a demo of the Dino web application using the, I don't know what you're going for here, Copilot. So let's just close this off. Using, let's go using HTMX with Hano and Alpine JS. Okay, close that and let's close this div. And my typing is all over the place. Hello, Copilot, or I mean, code editor, thank you. Okay. So that's, okay, that's a basic homepage. There we go. Maybe we'll add a link actually. We'll do an ahref equals, there we go. Uh, but we don't want about, we want to make this login. Sure, and then we'll go to forward slash auth, forward slash login. Okay, so that's that. And now let's go over to our login page and we'll import HTML and we, oops, and we will then do our awesome, thank you, Copilot. We'll do our login page. So here we go, we have a form, perfect. So here's some HTMX, we have an HX post going to our auth forward slash login route. So that means in our HANO application under auth forward slash login, we wanna add a post endpoint here uh, and it's going to be just at the root because we're already on the login route and we want to perfect and we're not going to do the whole login process here but we could return a redirect And we'll just send them to the app page. We'll just pretend they logged in and got redirected to the app page. So that's good for the endpoint that the login form will be hitting. So there goes that. And if we go over to our app page now, in here we will import HTML again. And let's see what Copilot's gonna give us this time. 
All right, import this string. Uh, it's gonna give us a whole new body and page. <laughs> we don't need that copilot, but thank you. Okay, so we're gonna just go with a di Hello. Welcome to the app. All right, you guys get the point. I don't wanna to spend too much time on this. This video is gonna be getting long as is. But here's your sort of authenticated app page that you're now logged into. And then from here, we could go to our profile. So maybe let's make a, let's make one more component here. Actually, we have a landing uh, or layout for the general page here. Let's make an app layout page. So we'll make another layout here, a new file. We'll call it app layout. So layout would be like anything that's outside of the app. And then if we have app layout, it's going to be uh, similar to layout, but we will take this and then app layout will have a header on it. We could do this as a second level, but we're not going to do it in this video, but we could have this app layout inside of layout and then just add that menu on there. But we'll just make a second uh, copy here and we're going to have a uh, nav. Sure, class nav bar. And in that nav, we'll have a Yeah, home, that's fine. Uh, we'll actually call that dashboard since that's what we called that route. And then we'll have another route in here called, I guess it would be logout, which we don't actually have right now as a route, but that would be, since we are now logged in, we could log out. And we'd also wanna be able to go to our profile. So we could say href equals forward slash profile. There we go. So now we have a nav when we're logged in. So if we go back over here to our component, or sorry, to our pages and we go to app, on the app page, we want to wrap that inside of the app layout. Okay, so I'll show you how we can do that in a second. Now landing page, uh, we've already done. Login page we've done, profile page, the only one left. So let's just import HTML again from Dino land, oops. Yeah, this is your profile page, log out. Sure, that works too. Okay, so now we have a profile page, basic profile page, but we wanted to actually create a title component here, right? So let's replace our H1s with this title component. So this title component will import HTML again from Dino, and then we will have there we go. But we don't want title, we want H1. Nice try, Copilot. And we're gonna take the title, exactly. So we can see, you can see how you can take a title in here. We can also do some, maybe some styling on the button. So let's say, is it primary? It'll be a Boolean, sure. If it's, and then we'll import the CSS helper here from Hano, and we can say, some CSS, H1. Color red, sure. Let's just see what Copilot is gonna generate us here. Okay, so H1 by default is red. And then we'll say H1, that is primary, yeah. is blue, sure. Save that. Okay, and then what we can do is we can put the class on here class equals, and since this is just a template string, we can throw another template in here and we can say if it's primary, return the string of primary, otherwise the empty string. Can't find primary, oh, I don't even have primary coming in right here. There we go. So now if it's primary, we will put the primary class on, otherwise we don't put any class on the button, on the uh, H1. So let's go, we can add this to a couple of our pages. So let's just replace this with title. Now this will be a little different than if, if you're used to JSX, but in, you're gonna put it inside of a template uh, literal uh, variable here. So we're gonna say title, right? And we're gonna import that, not from there. Oh, we haven't changed these names either. I've been copying and pasting all these. So this is called app. We don't need content being passed. We don't need any of this stuff actually being passed into the app. So let's get rid of all that. 
here we want to import title. So this would be title. Uh, and we're going to import that from title component. There we go. And we can get rid of this. Okay, so now we have our title component. Now, if I want to set it to set the title on it, we can pass in an object like this to the function. So in this case, title, we'll call it app. That's good. And primary true, yes. So let's just copy this and we'll put it over on our landing page as well. And on our landing page, we will again import title. And we'll just set, we're not going to set primary in this one, so it should be false. We have to actually set it. Okay, I didn't set a default on it. That's fine. We'll set it primary. False. Okay, and you get the idea. We won't do it on all of them, but uh, we'll be able to see now on our landing page and on our app page, we have our title component being used. So that's how you could create components that could go into your uh, pages that could also be then embedded into your layouts. So now we need to actually get these pages into our layouts. Let me just make sure I didn't make that mistake on any of these other pages where I was copying the layout. This is all good. Oh, this one we want to call app layout. And yeah, that's all fine still. What we're going to do now is we're going to return these layouts inside of our Hano routes. So if we go back over to our uh, index route here, which is Oh, I didn't actually even add it to the main route here. So we should have app.route forward slash. We'll go to index, which is what we, or we'll call it landing, which is what we're going to import here as landing from route to index. Yeah, there we go. And then we can get rid of this. There we go. So that calls our landing, which is right here. And now when we call that, instead of just returning hello landing, which is what we're returning right now, we can go see in the browser here what that looks like. So that's just returning hello landing page. We can actually return now the view that we want to return for that. So let's return um, c.html. And we're going to pass in the layout, which we need to import here. So import layout from layouts views. We want it from views and layout.ts. So that's where we're importing layout from. And then layout takes a title. Yeah, this is the title for the home page. Actually it's the landing page title. And then we're gonna pass it the landing page component. So landing and we need to import landing. We can just call landing like that. And I'm missing one more closing bracket here. Oh, sorry, it's the layout that's expecting one argument because this should be content. And then I'm passing it landing. There we go. So the content of this layout is gonna be the landing page. Perfect, so now we can go back over and we can take a look. If we refresh, there we go, we're getting our app. This is the demo of the Dino web application using HTMX with Hano and AlpineJS. Now why is it saying app? So let's go look, we have landing, landing. Oh, because I like copy and pasted that title as app. So let's save that as landing. And there's our landing. Okay, so if we go back over now, we can uh, do this for the other routes as well. So we have our index route. Let's go over to our auth route, we'll go to the auth page here. Wait, did we even set up the auth page? No, okay, let's just skip over that one. This would be the page where you'd probably have like a login and a sign up button or something like that. We're not gonna do that page for now, but let's go to our login page and we will have return c.html. And then inside of here, we will, we will return the auth. Layout. Oh, do we have an auth layout? No, it's app layout. So this would just be regular layout, not app layout. Layout. And we'll pass it the title of login and the content is not a string. The content is the login, which we wanna import. Login, there we go. And then we can go to our app page on the index here. We want to return HTML as well. 
And in here we're gonna say app layout, yes. Thank you. Oh, app, yes, and app layout. We need both of those. And the title is gonna be app and the content is app, perfect. That's good. And then we will copy this one over here to the profile. And for the profile, we will return the app layout again. But instead of just the app layout this time, we're gonna also return the profile layout with it. And we'll give this the title of my profile. Okay, so we've imported all of our layouts and all of our pages inside of those layouts. And now if we go back to our landing here, we can say, let's go log in. That's gonna redirect us to, or that's gonna take us to the auth for just login. And let's just go, my name is Braden, and this is my password. And if I log in, now we are on our dashboard. We have our app, welcome to our app. We'll see, we still have this login here. Why is that? So login, okay, so what happened here was we returned HTML and we didn't replace the right element because login was redirecting us, which returns HTML, but then HTMX is actually expecting us to return HTML after the login and then update the page with that HTML. We don't want to do that. And there is definitely a way to set this up the way that we're expecting here. I'm not going to deep dive into HTMX right now, but we can see that our HTMX is working. <laughs> we still have, we're still on our login page and it's injecting this HTML into the page. Let's just go manually over to where we would like it to go. So that would be forward slash app. And then we're on our app page here. Don't know what's going on with our spacing here, but <laughs> we haven't styled anything. Here's our nav and then we can go to our profile page and profile is 404ing. It looks like my URL is wrong here, so I must have made a mistake in my app layout nav here. Yep, so profile, let's update that. And if we go back now, we should be able to go back. And if we go over to profile now, we can see that the profile link is working correctly. And log out, maybe we don't have our logout route yet, but anyway, that's how you can set up your views and routing for a no build application using Hano, HTMX, Alpine.js, and just some basic HTML templating. I really like this stack. As you can see, there's no configuration files here. You know, nothing's building, we're just running it and, and it's, you know, it's, it's, it's here. And we've got all the functionalities that we need. JavaScript front end, you know, serving up great templates with HTMX and HTML on the back end. So let's finish this up by deploying it. So the last thing we have to do is use that deploy CTL CLI that I told you to install earlier along with Dino. And if we do deploy CTL deploy, it's going to guess my project name here. I think I've deployed it once before. It's deploying my assets, uploading the assets, and then it's going to finish up here. And let's take a look. There it is live on Dino cloud. Go back here. We could make a change. Let's see how fast it is to make an edit to our project uh, with no build. So if I go over to my landing page here, let's call this landing on Dino cloud, save that. Let's go over here and let's do another deploy. It's uploading the assets. And if we go over to our new link here, look at that, we're live already. <laughs> I think that was like under, under 10 seconds uh, to upload and deploy that and have it live. And if we go over to our Dino cloud here, we can open up that project and we can promote that new branch to be our production branch. And then we have now on our alias domain here, landing on Dino cloud. That was super easy, super fast to deploy. No build are required. Like this is just awesome stuff. I'm a big fan of keeping things simple. And I think that this is one of the simplest sort of stacks with no build that you can build at. It's super performance, super modern. If you want to see more of this stuff, let me know in the comments below and, you know, subscribe and I'll, I'll make some more of these videos. I'm happy to, we could make some apps. Maybe we'll do a live stream doing some of this stuff if people are interested. So let me know. Thanks for sticking with me for that no build Hano JS application that we built. I hope you all learned a little bit about HTMX and Alpine JS and how we can really do things with modern web these days that is very modern and doesn't require all these configs and compilations and things that we do in our meta frameworks.